so we'll, we will need a few variables you know uh, so why don't we do one thing protected dollar token and dollar request okay so these are the two things which i'm going to take in my constructor So I'll need to import them as well. App token. Eliminate HTTP request. Okay. And then um, I'll need the user as well. I'll just add that. Okay. And so this user will be token user. Just remember we cannot do request user because you know we are still not authenticated uh, when the request is coming okay but we have created the token and we have the relation so we will get the user object from the token that is so equals dollar token obviously this is just a shorthand otherwise I could have done this token user but you know, makes the code a little more readable easy to understand okay so we have these three things uh, in our constructor now the rest of the thing becomes very simple we will take the input of URL from the request object so this request input URL that becomes our URL and then there are a few things which we need to set up so this from for now we'll have admin at admin.com <coughs> and then we will have the view and it will be inside mails forgot password okay that the blade file and we'll have a few variables with token which is this token we'll have url which is dollar url and last user which is dollar this user okay so first thing let's create this view file resources views we have mails and this dot blade dot php quickly add something so forgot password is an h1 then we will have how many one two three four five i think five paragraphs of code obviously i've written it so i know we have received a request from you to reset your password okay um, click here okay so now the here is going to be the link dollar url okay and then it will be reset password if you remember we have created this api route and then got a token token okay to reset your password okay and uh, that's more than enough i think get the point anyways i'm going to use the laravel log file to get the email so nothing much will be done there um but anyways so coming back to our controller now okay so we have the token now we know we need to send an email so mail to i need to import mail this is successfully imported yes okay so mail to and I need to send the user so we already have the user which we have queried out 
and then we do the send method with new forgot password class we send the token the first parameter and the second is the request now that's how we have de de declared that in the constructor right so and we send the email and then return response later sent 200 now obviously you know if you want uh, in a performance as you can see the mail class actually you know, extends the queueable trait so you know you can use sqs or redis maybe to you know put them in queue and process it quickly because i'm going to use the laravel log to demonstrate the email thing but in general an smtp request will take time so you know the user may be stuck on that particular screen so yeah that's something which you can handle anyways so that is beyond the scope so we are now into this function now this is where we are going to do the reset password business okay and i would want a validator here obviously so validator equals validator make yeah, let me import the class so this will be supports facades validator um i think we pass the request all object and then this is the array right um what do we have we have password which should be required and min length should be six confirm password it is required and let's do same password okay so that's done now if dollar validator fails so this is when you know there is a problem with the validation we do return So we return the errors and we do a 433 sorry and next if everything is correct we take the token equals uh, what is it so request input token okay now so yeah we have everything in place we have the token now we are assuming that you know people are not going to play around with the token otherwise what you can do is yeah anyway we can we actually can do that so db uh, token equals db table tokens where token is gonna be dollar token first okay first of all import database okay and there is one more thing so there is the where clause first and where uh, expire at should be greater than carbon now so basically our token shouldn't have expired by the time and so that we are doing if db token fails we can do something like this 403 say wrong token for now and I know it, it gives away the message but that's okay we can um, think of the messages in an actual project but yeah uh, ideally you would want not to disclose the error very easily to the user because then he knows that you know, the, okay the token was wrong so he can try out anything else okay and so yeah we have 
made the condition if everything is correct we will have user where id is going to be db token user underscore id I'll do the first okay user password will be equal to bcrypt and let's take request input password and we save the user and return response changed password changed and a 200 response code so just a quick recap on what we have done so far so we created these two routes okay so forgot password reset password and yeah this is this is correct yeah okay we'll need to create one more um you know, route which is going to be the you know page a get a get url where we need to you know take the token but you know that's more of a um web or the you know view application url not something in our api so um yeah that's one thing which will happen in the next video where you know i'm actually going to create the api uh, sorry the front end application but yeah so these are the two api calls the post requests forgot password which takes the email the reset password which takes the two passwords this is our implementation in the first one we are taking the email we are checking whether the user exists if it does we create a token and then we send the token to the user and we send a success response now you know our front end application will uh, you know be uh, open the form it will uh, tell the user to say, uh, you know, add the password and then he will do the submit will come here we we'll first do a validation check okay uh, whether the password is is there or not if it is minimum six characters if it fails we return back if not then we take the token we check whether there is a token with that particular token string and whether it has expired or not if not then we do this otherwise we give him an error and expire at should be yeah greater than this fine so in the next video i'm going to start working on the view application where you know the forgot password email will be entered and then the uh, password and confirm password form